Hi, my name is Craig Rogers. I live out here near these two abandoned homes that are coming down now. There's a lot of illegal activity that emanates from these properties. Uh, back in about uh, 2007, in that one year, my house was broke into three times, and one of those times I found a trail of the stolen goods leading back towards these homes. As I understand it, the police have been involved with uh, residents and the surrounding area of these homes a lot, too. About four years ago, it came to our attention that some of our students were uh, using the abandoned houses behind us uh, as a way to do bad things, I guess, for lack of a better way to describe it. We had kids uh, skipping school and coming down here in groups. We work with our resource officers, uh, and we asked them that question, if they could find out some more information about the properties, but really weren't able to find out any detailed information. I wrote a letter about this, and I was uh, skeptical as to whether or not anything would be done, but obviously uh, something has been done, and it paid off to do that. Uh, as an educator, you know, our primary concern is our kids' safety and I'm, I'm really happy that this is one last thing that we have to deal with. We can focus more on educating our kids and keeping them in school and, and keeping them safe. Vacant and distressed properties create a lot of problems in this city. That's why the city of Portland's proposing a vacant property registration program. A lot of times, neighbors and city officials don't know who to contact about those properties. There's no one who's a responsible party. With this registration, we hope to have contact information for each of those properties so that we can effectively notify someone who has a responsibility to maintain the property. This is just one idea about how to solve the problem. If you have others or if you have ideas about how to enhance this program, you should let us know.